Hi, my name is Tim with Thompson Air Conditioning. I'm going to take you through the process of how we go about changing out a duct system in a typical home. This particular home is a single story home with all the ductwork in the attic. It had asbestos ducts prior to us installing new ductwork, which we had removed yesterday, and we're installing the new ductwork today. Since the asbestos ductwork was removed yesterday, it gives us the opportunity today to recalculate and redesign the entire duct layout. This allows for us to size ductwork appropriately to allow the system to breathe and function the way it's supposed to. This will increase efficiency, help lower utility costs in the future, and prevent future breakdowns. Another thing we can do to help with the utility costs is ensure that no air is getting lost to the attic. In order to do this, we seal up every connection point with a duct mastic sealant. This is the standard ductwork that we use on all of our duct installations. It's class one flexible ducting with R6 insulation. The insulation used in this ductwork is formaldehyde free and this ductwork comes in bags of 25 foot lengths. We're up here in the attic working on the duct system. Um, you can see our workers in the background maybe um, working on the new ductwork installation. And we're providing the customer with new class one R6 insulated ductwork comes in 25 foot bags and we connect end to end with a duct mastic material on the inner core and then we use big panduit straps to attach and secure the duct to each termination point. From then we use cut wrap insulation or yellow fiberglass insulation to insulate all the exposed sheet metal. Here we're in the process of installing a couple extra connections here at a TY intersect point where one big duct comes and dissects into two smaller ducts to serve different rooms in the home. Here is the exposed sheet metal of the TY which will get wrapped with the cut wrap fiberglass insulation. We've been using these panduit straps that Mark's pulling out here <clears throat> to attach and secure the duct to the termination points here and here. You can also see in every thumb and finger of all the ductwork TY and intersect points and all the start points at the supply plenum that we'll talk about later. There's uh, these manual spin dampers which help balance the airflow throughout the house so we can open, we can close and balance the air accordingly to the customer's needs. Just to recap the job, this is a two-day project. The first day we have the asbestos removal team come in and remove all the hazardous materials. The second day, we come in, redesign the new duct system, and a typical project like this ends up costing right around two grand. Our goal here is to make sure that we give you cleaner air and lower your utility costs while bringing up the efficiency of the system. Once again, my name is Tim with Thompson Air Conditioning. I'm the general manager here. Thanks for watching.